Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm actually having an issues here. Can you hear me? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Can you hear me, guys? Awesome. Yeah, I had an issue because uh, uh, I actually heard my voice from the stream and I couldn't mute the stream, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear it. And then uh, I canceled the stream accidentally, so sorry for this, but I'm glad you are, you are here. So, uh, awesome. Just a second, I probably need to repost like new link and stuff like this. Crazy. All righty. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Just a second. Okay, so let's start. So basically, um, I don't know if you know the tune, but uh, when I started, uh, when I actually heard the about Beat Saber for the very first time, uh, it was uh, when uh, <laughs> it was when uh, I heard the the or actually when I when I seen the early teaser for Beat Saber, and this was I think like some sometime mid two thousand seventeen, and. Uh, split he did first teaser uh with uh, like girl who is like in mixed reality but it's just like silhouette and uh he actually composed a track for it and i heard and i heard the uh, or actually I've, I've seen the teaser and i immediately knew that i need to be part of this uh, because i heard the track and i i sort of liked it but i didn't thought that this is the right direction and uh, <laughs> so then I actually contacted Split because I wanted to know what, what this is all about. I actually, before I thought that the Beat Saber or the original version, what I've seen is done by like some AAA studio. And it was kind of coincidence when I found out that this is like made by two, two guys. <laughs> so, so it was crazy. But there was a track. Uh, in that video and i actually spoke spoke with split about it for uh already like a couple of times that it will be awesome if we will finish that track because in that video it's like there's just like 30 seconds or like one minute of, of the track and it sounds kind of like uh it sounds like almost eight bit type of like sound it, even though it's not like a bit like on purpose but like doesn't sound like too too polished or I don't know how to say this but uh, actually it's really important for me to bring this track to the final phase because it was the track what convinced me to uh, get to Beat Saber and um, travel back from Los Angeles to Czech Republic when I'm where I'm coming from and then I convinced guys that we should make a company and like and the rest, you know, the rest of the story. So, so yeah. So right now, I'm starting to work on the on that track, uh, and it will be in OST three for Beat Saber. And actually, the the mindset behind this or the idea is that. I will keep the very first part uh, 
the very beginning uh, of the track as it is, like as everybody like knows it. And uh, yeah. And then I will hopefully build it in, in some good way. So I will play you the, the original track. Uh, I don't know if uh, everybody's seen that or not, but yeah. Let me know also if you can hear the sound properly. Hopefully, yes. We'll see. <laughs> so this is the track will actually split composed. Uh, and uh, actually the track will convince me to get to get to those guys. Um, and I already finished a drop uh, for this. Uh, actually, we were in uh, on E3 last week. And it was crazy. We were showcasing the 360 levels for Beat Saber. And there was like huge, you know, huge. A uh, huge help, hype about this because a lot of people seems to like it, and to be completely honest, I love it. So, so it was super super busy times. But uh, I think it was last day when everybody were were some somewhere and they went partying and stuff. And I canceled all the meetings because I, I had the feeling that uh, I should come back to the hotel and I should start working on this because the idea just pop popped in my head that. It's really like the time to start working on this track if this will be on like original soundtrack three. So <laughs> so I went to the hotel room uh, and I was composing that drop because I tried to like do some ideas. And after like 20 minutes, I finished like this. I will play you the whole thing, but like you will hear the drop. So yeah, so this is what I have so far. <laughs> How do you like it? <laughs> my computer seems to like freaking out because it's already like 60% of my CPU is, <laughs> is like totally full of this track. So yeah, uh, so this is what I have so far. And today's mission pretty much is to finish this track because uh, uh, the OST3, uh, it, it still like needs a few months, but there is more tracks. There is like right now around five, and there could be like sixth, and there could be even seventh. So, and we just recorded vocals for like most of them, and we just need to like polish everything because everything is kind of like last minute because I'm dealing with like thousands of other things. Uh, so, and we had the Imagine Dragons pack, and this was like complete, complete nightmare to like solve all the publishing masters and stuff like this. And it actually like a little bit convinced me that I should start working on the music because, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 crazy. So, right now I would like to today I would like to finish this track. I would like to create a second drop for this, tweak a little bit the first one um, because there is there, there are like few things like ideas what I have what I should do with it and uh, yeah hopefully by end of this stream uh, it will be finished and ready for mix and mastering so so yeah welcome in production session and uh i don't know if this will be like entertaining for you or not uh actually misha uh our marketing manager told me that uh if everything will, will goes wrong so i should show you some pictures of cats because it always works <laughs> so this is my backup plan <laughs> so 
<laughs> so yeah. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, I will actually play you uh, from the start. Uh, actually, I would need to start working a little bit more with the synths because I want to. I want to keep uh, that uh, that original synth what uh, Split was using, and kind of like layer it with like my other things. So this is the original thing. Oh, this is bass. Just a second. Super simple. So yeah, so it's like, you know, the, I think it at least sounds, I don't know what he used for it, but it at least sounds that this is like the init preset from silent or, or something like this. So I actually tried to layer it with, uh, with this thing for the drop. So it's starting like this. This is the this is uh, splits uh, synth. Uh, this is the bass again. Just a second. I need to really like change like colors for those stems. So I changed like the notes a little bit to make it interesting that it's just like that you can clearly say that the track is evolving. So yeah, there's like a little bit different different melody here. So this is the split synth. And now with the additional things. And with the bass in. And with the bass and sub. And with everything. I also using a kind of weird thing, uh, and this is like voices, because I don't like when when you are using just synths. It sounds like, of course, like a little bit synthetic. So I'm trying to like always like include some uh, like human type of layer. This is what I did for most most of the track for original soundtrack one, uh, and I'm like pitching up and down. Uh, like voices and it sounds probably weird but it somehow works so i'm using this this is like ah uh, don't i won't be singing because i can't sing but you can imagine what it is it's just like pitch it up and like there's like some distortion on it and stuff like this and with the synths So it's like, you know, it's bringing that high pitch thing, which bring hopefully a little bit of life into into the mix, and yeah. Oh my God, there's so many things. And uh, right now, the track so far it has ninety stems. It's quite a lot. And uh, this is just drums. There's some bass which doesn't seem to be actually in tune. What is that? Oh, this is it. This is not in tune. Damn it. There we go. should be for the drop and now I would like to start actually uh, I would like to start with the second drop this should be like a little bit different and the way how how I starting the second part uh, because I'm you know I, I was doing a lot of cinematic music before like trailers and soundtracks so I'm I'm trying to actually make the second drop like much more powerful than the first one, which is probably a common thing, but uh, yeah. 
so it will be kind of challenging to do this uh like more powerful because it seems at least to me that this is like already like packed with with the, with the wall of sound and stuff so what i'm usually doing is that i just like copy the first drop like to the second and then i just like try to change the drums and then we'll see what just came to my mind so yeah i will do the same thing right now so let's copy the whole thing for the second part and and cool okay second drop same and here is a little little breakdown what i need to do before so let's see so i did already like some fade down from the first drop Alrighty, so, hmm, hmm, actually, I think it would be cool to bring like some, I have actually one like violin session here, let's see. Oh yeah. Da, da, da. Double. All right. There. Well, actually, sorry that I can't read your comments that much. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, I'm using Ableton. Sorry, uh, I should actually mention that. So yeah, I'm, I I started with Fruit Loops when I was like 14 or something, and then I switched to Ableton because I was a DJ for a long time, so it just makes sense to do stuff. So I have, uh, yeah, I have Ableton. Actually, next time if we will be doing this more often, I will probably find a way how to like share your screen. But as you as you can see. I'm not that like amazing uh, in uh, like uh, putting everything together into one stream. So, so yeah. uh, okay. A few more questions. Uh, uh, yeah, original soundtrack free will be will be free uh, as all our soundtracks will be our planning so far. Uh, yeah, because like the, the, the structure is super simple. Uh, we have music packs, which is already like the music which is released. So therefore we need to license the, the music and uh, we need to pay for it. So this is like paid, but our original soundtrack, this is what we are composing. Uh, and yeah, then it should be free. So, so yeah. Um... Let's finish this this breakdown real quick. Hmm, I actually think that there should be before the second drop there should be there should be some something and i actually like the thing of what i did with uh unlimited power that 
there was like the Apregio sin, almost like the throne ish thing. And let's see what we can do here. Mm -hmm. Because there is like, I have this scent. Actually, I use Serum for this. I don't know if you know the plugin, but if you don't, definitely check it out because this is like, it was like massive for most of the electronic music. And then Serum, it's like must have pretty much. And I was, the, the way how I'm creating sounds mostly is that I have like days uh, when I spend whole day in the studio just making sounds. And then I, I have like huge library of like pre-made sounds. For example, uh, I have like guitar plucks and things like this, like crazy distorted sounds. Yeah, like those sounds I, I did mostly for trailers. So I was like doing, you know, all the, like, I just like smash it completely with like distortion and weird stuff. And I also, uh, I also have like this thing, which is, uh, which is uh, like synthy. And I actually think it will be quite cool when the second drop will start with this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, this may work, but let's finish this orchestral stuff. Nice. All right, so let's do this. This might work. Nice. So I will bring this synth more into the drop as well. Okay. Nice. Now we need to change drums because this seems to be like it's too same as the first one.
can be almost like a breakbeat, I think. Like, like a little bit off, not that like direct rhythmic what is here right now. Hmm, let's try something. So we can do something like this, maybe. Something like this. So kick here. Hello, <laughs> this works. Okay, okay let's, let's make this for the whole thing. All right. Mm -hmm. This looks promising. I think it needs like a little, a little something for the snare because it seems to be quite like quiet or not that like dominant the snare. So let's see. Okay. So this and this. So this should be kind of working, I guess. And now the sense will be probably the same, but it needs that that human layer thing. Should probably like do some different harmony for the sense. So let's try this. Okay, let me save this because crashes are happening all the time. All right, so. Okay. Nice, so I will, yeah, I will actually pitch this up a little bit so the second drop can be like more powerful, so it will be. This is the first drop. This is the second. Okay, so I will pitch this for for the full layer. Okay. Let's try this the whole thing. Somehow it works. 
Let's figure out now the break. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, the build up seems to be missing, but this can make it work. That's not bad. Let's let's listen to the whole thing so we can hear it in like full line. The second drop actually works, maybe. Uh, but what I don't like right now is the is the build up for the second drop. The or orchestra is cool, but it's kind of like cheesy, or I don't know how to say. It. I think that that synth can do the job for the build up, but it needs to be like filters or something let's see if this don't crash okay cool so nope there is like the, the moment when the drops, when the, the sin starts by itself, it's kind of cool, so. Hmm. There has to be something different. I also want to bring like some effect, what will change the scent a little bit while playing in the section. So the com uh, the sound chain is kind of wild for this. So mm, that's not good. Mm. 
Maybe. And there's a weird delay, what is actually making the mix kind of messy. Let's try without this. Mm. Better. Oh my god, my CPU is running now 80%. <laughs> And I'm using Mac Pro, uh, and it's like kind of beast. So, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to see what the new Mac Pro can do. But <laughs> the price is insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he's <used> Windows. <laughs> I actually, I actually did before. Uh, I used Windows on uh, one gig when I was doing some sort of like live performance, <laughs> man. Uh, and I learned. Uh, actually, I start playing, and after ten minutes, I get the blue screen of death in front of like I don't know how many people were there, but definitely like hundreds. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, and since then, I, I just like told myself that I, I won't be using Windows anymore. But this was like, I don't know, five years ago or six years ago. So maybe like things change. But yeah, man, not not good memories. <laughs> so yeah, but. Hmm, there is still the wild sun chain thing going on. I know what is it. Okay. Right. This section, the second part of the drop, it probably needs like more hi hats or stuff like this. I have this loop, this loop right here from the first part. So let's make this a little bit louder. It needs also EQ. Right. Let's try this. Oh, there is again sign chain. It's everywhere. It would, it would be funny to do something with that, like the shaker egg. This is, this is, <laughs> it's kind of, it's crazy because this is the instrument I always wanted to like play on. So like all the people when they are young, they want to play like guitar or like piano and stuff like. But I've seen that like I don't know where, but I, <laughs> so somehow it feels like super super cool to like just shake with the egg and make like this type of sound. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. <laughs> okay, let's find some shaker sounds. Shaker. Mm -mm. Let's see if there is anything. Uh -uh. Hmm. 
<laughs> nope. 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 Kind of, but not there. This one. This one. Okay, I will save this. And six. Okay, let's see. Double time. Double time is too crazy for. <laughs> Let's see with the with the sign chain. Cake. Eh, maybe slower. Yeah, yeah that's better. Oh. So, and actually for the length of the track, it, we find out that like the, the most usable length for the track is like around two minutes. Um, because when you have like classic songs are like three, three minutes, 30 or something like this. But if you are playing, I don't know, like more, more songs in a row, it's just more interesting when the, the style is changing and the music is changing so actually something around like two minutes would be good we are also trying to do it for other songs for, from the soundtrack and also we are trying to like bring more uh you know more genres and this is what i try to do with the first soundtrack as well because there was uh you know the legend thing so it was more like pop almost like hip hop rap type of track and then drum and bass and electro and everything was like a little bit like put into like different styles yet to the like all tracks should sounds that they are keeping like some signature but for this soundtrack we want to do uh like more variety like more extreme variety so we are actually doing something really close to k-pop uh, and right now we are actually searching for great Japanese or uh, Korean artists. Uh, so if you know anybody, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, so and this this will be a pretty fun one, uh, and I'm really looking forward to to show this to you. But uh, yeah, then we are doing some rap, something uh, similar to Unlimited Power, but like more in the rap. And I think yeah. Uh, I don't tease it that much, but like there is like a couple of tracks which are like really different styles, but seems to, yeah, I, I'm I'm really happy about things with the Arco Camp. So, yeah, and I don't want to tease that much, but definitely there is like, uh, yeah, there is a lot of cool stuff coming. So so yeah, and uh, also we are like trying to keep it short. So yeah, around two minutes and. Yeah. Also, what we did, for example, with uh, with uh, Porter Robinson or, or like Virtual Self. Uh, so this track was six minutes long, and actually, um, Split and Lokiman, they were like, ah, it's too hard to like do maps for this, and they 
wasn't like the biggest fans of that, that we will bring such long tunes into, into the Beat Saber. But I thought it will, it will be great to like bring it and make it like, you know, interesting. And yeah, uh, luckily, uh, seems that like people are enjoying it. And I'm honestly, I'm playing it as well. And it's quite of like challenging to, to finish this on like for me on expert and I'm trying to get into expert plus, but this is like, yeah, too crazy. So, <laughs> so yeah, you guys are probably like much, much better than, than I am. So, so, uh, but yeah, it seems that like two, two minutes and, and like around that, it's just like perfect timing. So, so let's finish that. Let's build up for the second drop, and then we will probably go for the second part of the second drop. And I actually didn't expect that the second drop will be done that fast. So, so let's let's have a listen once again. And damn, I really think we can we can finish this this track really soon. Okay, let's let's try this. <laughs> So this build up is not working that well. So let's change that. By the way, I didn't tell you, uh, because I was composing mostly for like picture thing that uh, I've seen like videos. Uh, I was doing a lot of stuff for Blizzard uh, before Beat Saber, like uh, I did the music for uh, Video Maker, uh, that short animated short movie. Uh, so, and a lot of like Starcraft and Heroes of the Storm trailers. Yeah, and a lot of things like there's a lot of other art trailers for Battlefield and stuff like this. But uh, I always had like some picture in Ableton, so I can at least like get the mood from it. So right now, um, you can't see it, but I I can I have like the picture of uh, Beat Saber, like completely random gameplay. So just to like see that the music is actually matching with the environment, at least a little bit. So this is yeah, this is. This helping a lot. Actually, just keep the, the mood because even for other composers, when you are like composing for pictures or something, I always recommend to have like you know some some video. For example, if when I was doing like I don't know Terminator Genesis or trailers like that, I always had like some previous Termin Terminator like spots or like for even for Blizzard, so I always had like some previous stuff what they did just to like keep keep the atmosphere going and I'm doing it like with all the tracks and it actually it's driving the inspiration a lot. So so yeah this is this is the tip for sure. So <laughs> Maybe there won't be any breakdown whatsoever. So if we will bring 
Let's send a little bit earlier. So I will make the, the third part of the second drop. Okay, so I will copy that. And let's see. So we need to change something here. And what I, what I actually want to do is, the reason why I change the rhythmic in the second drop also is that you you will change the the way how you are slashing. And actually, Freak will have more room for creating like different types of beat maps for it. So I'm thinking that in the last version of second drop, I will probably make something completely crazy with the rhythmic. <laughs> So probably I will take out the snares. Oh man, this will be nuts. <laughs> All right, yes. <laughs> Freak, you are going to love me. <laughs> Okay, so, and then I need to change the sense a little bit as well. Da, 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 da. Okay, and since here. All right, so here, here, here. So, drums right here. <laughs> okay, this will be fast. Maybe there should be some little break before the last part starts. This needs to be cut somewhere here.
maybe for <laughs> of the sins. Yes, so we will get rid of sins as well and we will keep just the rhythmic. Yes, okay, so it will start with like <laughs> Like straight beat, and then it will swap again into into like the off rhythm. This is I'm actually using for the impacts. Uh, I'm using the slashing sound from Beat Saber, which is I still don't know if I will keep because I need to test it in the game, because it may happen that Freak will put the beat map uh, or or the, like the cube on the on the drop, which means that the sounds will face, you know. So so. So I'm using this sound actually for for all those impacts. For example, here. Or here. Okay, I have no idea why this changed. Somehow my BPM went to 200. Now it's 171. So. be some it needs to be like more dramatic change so I will erase everything <laughs> Should be the fast rate make. Let's try this. <laughs> eh, doesn't work. Let's 
is this? Okay. Looped. Okay, and this needs to be looped as well. This. Yes. I somehow like to do like <laughs> for the ending of the track something super cheesy, you know, like some <laughs> I don't know. I did I did one track and there was like duck duck wah in in the song that like the the song was like going nuts but in the middle of song like from the nowhere there was like duck sound and everybody who heard that was like starting to laugh and I somehow love this. <laughs> Yeah, and I also like to like hide messages in the tracks. So, yeah, you should probably start searching in those new songs in the soundtrack eventually. And here there should be like some crazy giant hit. And because I'm coming from cinematic world, so I love hits, as you can say. So, and here is collection of my hits. So let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, oh man, I was using this for like most of the Blizzard stuff. But let's see if this will work. It's not that great. I actually don't like that slashing sound there. We need something there. There's actually the guy who did uh, who did Legend with me, Jennerdine. You should check him out. He's like he's doing a lot of cinematic music as well, and he's doing amazing hits, like amazing things like this, and they work pretty much everywhere. So I don't know if you want to put it into country music. It will probably work as well. I have no idea how he is doing this, but yeah, he's he's a really good friend of mine, and he's working with me on the new soundtrack. So he hopefully wouldn't be pissed off if I will use his hit for the ending of the song, right? It works again, Genderdine. You are amazing genius, and this one is good as well. Like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I need to use. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. Please. Don't. Uh, yeah, this is this is the deck what I used 
in the track I was talking about. But <laughs> oh man. <laughs> ah, oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's so cheesy. I love this. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we probably should like use brand new feature for for this last sound. You know, like the some extra extra path, like fifth or something. Just to tease something new what we are what we may be working on or whatever, you know, you never know. <laughs> oh, okay, just a second. There's I think even better if I slow this down. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's that's crazy. Okay, let's listen the whole thing and then we'll see what needs to be changed. We'll say this just for sure. The orchestra is still like, eh. So yeah, uh, yeah. That's now that's the phase when I need to leave it be and listen it tomorrow early morning. And actually, what what is happening is that uh, uh, <laughs> what does the duck say? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I. What what is happening that if I wake up tomorrow and first thing what I will have on my mind usually works. So if I will wake up and this trick will be like the first thing what I will hear in my head, it means that it works. And if the first thought would be, I don't know, about like bread, <laughs> I don't know, because I will be hungry, then it means that the track sucks. So yeah, we'll let you know tomorrow, but hopefully hopefully it will be it will be okay so yeah guys uh thank you very much for being here uh it was how long actually one hour 10 minutes that's not that bad cool uh yeah have a great day or night or wherever you are uh if you will have any questions or or yeah just feel free to ask on twitter or like i'm 
on Instagram as well. So yeah, thanks for being here and thanks for support as always. You are amazing. So, and be ready for soundtrack three. This is just a little taste of what we are cooking. See you. Bye.